NASA has released footage of a never-before-seen event in which the asteroid known as Betelgeuse exploded, obliterating a large portion of its surface. The event, known as a supermassive ejection, is 400 billion times the size of an ordinary solar system, according to the Space Agency. Scientists call this event the observation period of stellar evolution. The fact that a star can leave such an object makes many people curious. The cataclysmic explosion of this red supergiant turned our understanding of the universe upside down. Why did Betel Jar explode? How will this affect the universe? The constellation consists of many stars arranged according to myths and legends. They are still used for navigation today. One such star is Betel Jar, one of the biggest and brightest stars of the night. A bright purple star called Betel Jar in the upper right corner of Winter Orion's Guardian, but upon closer examination, astronomers found that it was a ghost with a continuously beating heartbeat for up to 400 days. Beetle Jar is easy to identify due to its bright yellow-red color. It is good to suspect that stars have different colors. Also known as Alpha Orionis, this star is the second brightest star in the constellation after the blue supergiant Rigel. Due to its versatility and unusual name, Betel Jar is an interesting object for research and observation. The star, often called Alpha, is the brightest star in its constellation. Although Orion's brightest star Rigel is brighter, Betel Jar is referred to as Alpha Orionis because of its brightness, size, and red color. It is also one of the most famous stars. It is worth noting that the star was a model for the characters in the movie Betel Jars. Betel Jars is the seventh brightest star and the tenth brightest star in the sky visible from most of North America, Europe, and Canada. The world is also close to Betel Jars. Betel Jars is the brightest star in our galaxy and the closest star to Earth. Only 200 red supergiants have been detected. The radius of the Sun is approximately 764 times that of Betel Jars. If this star replaces the Sun in our solar system, it will reach beyond the asteroid belt and even Jupiter. This suggests that Earth, Mars, Venus, and Mercury will be completely absorbed. Betel Jars is 16 times larger than the Sun. This supergiant star has a solar luminosity of 126,000 and can be seen from 548 light years away. The temperature of the star is 3,600 Kelvin, which is colder than the Sun. Only 13.3% of Betel Jersey's radiated energy is visible light. If the human eye could see all wavelengths of light, Betel Jar would replace Sirius as the brightest star in our night sky. Betel Jar crashes into a large solar system every 10,000 years. Red stars are surrounded by nebulae because these objects are unevenly removed from the star in all directions. Betel JS is surrounded by a cloud of objects 250 times larger than stars. This is the distance between the Sun and Neptune, the farthest planet in the solar system. Our solar system periodically shoots matter into space, called solar flares. However, the sun gives off only a small portion of its outer atmosphere, so this event is called a coronal mass ejection. Therefore, coronal mass ejections and surface mass ejections will occur at different times. When a star expels some of its unstable atmosphere, it causes a coronal mass ejection. Coronal mass ejections from the solar system occur frequently and can affect Earth and its inhabitants. Coronal mass ejections move at speeds in excess of 1,800 meters per second, launching magnetic fields and plasma into space, sometimes reaching Earth within an hour. When a large coronal ejection occurs on the side of the sun-facing Earth, it can impact and damage Earth's satellites and power grids, sometimes causing risks to people on Earth. Recent discoveries reveal the specific reason why Beetle Jars went dark in 2019. Additionally, Beetle Jersey's famously steady draw has also changed, according to NASA's press release. Beetle Jersey's coronal mass ejection is unique because it released 400 billion times the magnitude of a typical coronal mass ejection, causing the star to shake like a sheet of gelatin. The star's convection cell may face a problem as the photosphere, which we think of as the star's surface, tries to rebuild. Astronomer Andrea Jury of the Center for Astrophysics personally said, Astronomers have been tracking the star's shape continuously for the last 200 years, but it is no longer there. All red giant stars, including beetle jars, are dying, 
and being able to observe this process will allow scientists to learn more about the evolution of stars. Most stars on Earth are powered by nuclear fusion, which eventually fizzles out, causing the star to undergo an interesting series of stellar changes before eventually dying. When a star is born, it consists of hydrogen that comes together under the influence of gravity in the star's core to form helium in a nuclear explosion. Most of the heat and light energy is usually released during the fusion process. This energy goes to the surface of the star and is released into space as photons. As the star ages and its fuel hydrogen runs out, helium begins to combine with carbon to form carbon. When helium is used, neon eventually combines with carbon to form a metal. When this happens, the fusion of neon and ion absorbs more energy than it releases. Because nothing can resist the star's gravity as the iron begins to melt, the star collapses in on itself, causing the supernova explosion. Supern NOI are the most powerful in nature and produce more than 10 billion suns. Stars change color from the youngest, hottest blue to the oldest, cooler red, depending on the stage of stellar evolution they are experiencing. While the Greek scientist Tars in 345 BC-250 BC curiously named Beetle Jersey red color three centuries earlier, Chinese astronomers had described the star as yellow, indicating that Beetle Jar had previously been a yellow supergiant star. Larger stars generally burn their hydrogen faster and die quicker, although Beetle Jar is only 10 million years old. It is definitely nearing the end of its life. Our sun is approximately 5 billion years old and is still in its brightest period. Also, since Beetle Jars is nearing the end of its life, a supernova will occur soon. Beetle Jar goes through two cycles of darkness and light. The second cycle occurs approximately every five years and lasts approximately 100 days. The star's outer shell is expected to expand and contract during this cycle, changing the star's orbit and average temperature. At each step of the cycle, Astronomers will better understand how red stars lose size in their final days before exploding into bright supern NOI. As Jury noted of Beetle Jersey's explosion, we've never seen a large amount of material eject from a star before. We didn't know what was going to happen. This is a new phenomenon that we can observe using Hubble to resolve surface elements directly. We observe the evolution of stars in real time. However, due to the strange phenomenon, it is not clear whether this development indicates the Beetle Jar supernova explosion. Despite its long cosmic lifespan, Beetle Jar is still not at the end of its life. NASA has warned that red supergiants are dying fast, and Beetle Jar will explode within the next 100,000 years, according to NASA. It has been the focus of intense research since the first century. Recently, a scientist named Serafina Nance and her team tried to determine the likely time when a red supergiant star like Beetle Jar would explode as a supernova. Nance and her team conducted several experiments using Beetle Jar as a model to understand how massive the star would be. They then compared their findings to field observations. Why is Beetle Jar shrinking and becoming out of sync with its normal cycle when it seems like it won't explode for another 100,000 years? Beetle Juz was ejected from its home in the constellation Orion OB1, a star cluster in Orion's belt, and appears to be traveling for light years through the interstellar medium at 30 km second. Fast-moving stars create shock waves. Since its decline in October 2019, B. Jersey's brightness nearly tripled from 0.5 magnitude to 1.7 magnitude by mid-February 2020. In the past 10 days, the star started to shine again. However, Beetle Jersey's darkening seems to have stopped completely after five days, completing the darkness. Given the lack of significant changes in infrared on February 24, 2020, it appears that the recent lack of visibility does not reflect the needs of young people. Another study that day concluded that the star's dimming was mostly due to dust. The fading seems to indicate that the second dimming event will occur sooner than expected. Astronomers announced the discovery of a second cloud from Beetle Jar in conjunction with the last major dimming of the star's light on August 30, 2020. In June 2020, it was suggested that cold areas in the photosphere may be responsible for the dust. And in August, a second study confirmed the first hypothesis. The dust is thought to originate from gas escaping from the star. Removing large amounts of soil oil can create dust. According to a 2022 study using the Hubble Space Telescope, this material is ejected millions of kilometers from the star's surface, where it cools and compresses into faint stardust. 
the fragmented photosphere, which was about several times the weight of the moon, cooled as it entered space and formed a cloud that covered the star from the perspective of an observer on Earth. This fading started in late 2019 and lasted for several months, and was clearly visible even to observers after observing changes in the star's brightness more importantly. The supergiant's 400-day pulse rate has disappeared since nearly 200 years ago. Astronomers have been tracking this cycle by analyzing changes in Beetle Jersey's motion and brightness. His reaction revealed the explosion astronomers have now developed a theory that could explain this effect. The star is slowly but surely rebuilding its energy and its photosphere is also being rebuilt. The star's orbit is always disturbed and its interior vibrates like a struck symbol. Large-scale stellar surface mass ejections have never been seen before. There are still things we don't fully understand. We can directly observe this new phenomenon and use trouble to see surface features and observe the evolution of stars over time when it will be maybe not in our lifetime, but the truth is that no one really knows it could happen tomorrow, it could happen in a million years, will the world be destroyed by the beetle jar supernova, no beetle jars explosion will not affect or partially end life on Earth because it happened so far away. Astronomers estimate that for a supernova to be dangerous to humans we would have to be 50 light years away from it plus beetle jars is way more than 10 times bigger instead everyone in the world will see the beauty of the star shining at night at the same time finally because beetle jars is nearby astronomers will be able to study the star as it undergoes a supernova explosion beetle jars is no longer visible at night so don't look for it even if it goes supernova now we won't see much unless it's in mid august beetle jars may have gone supernova 529 Years ago, but we still haven't seen its light scientists are excited about the chance to see Beetle Jersey collapse and recovery meanwhile as Hubble continues to study the star NASA's James Webb Space Telescope can track the Beetle object as it travels through space. Beetle Jars has captivated astronomers and enthusiasts alike for centuries, not only for its sheer brightness, but also for its enigmatic behavior. Named Alpha Orionis due to its prominence in the Orion constellation, Beetle Jars stands out not just for its size, but also for its intriguing variability. Unlike many stars that maintain a steady luminosity, Beetle Jars exhibits fluctuations in brightness over time. This variability has puzzled astronomers, leading to various theories about the star's internal processes and the causes behind its periodic dimming events. One of the ongoing mysteries surrounding Beetle Jars is its peculiar 400-day pulsation cycle. This rhythmic change in brightness suggests internal dynamics that are not fully understood. Astronomers have speculated that these variations could be linked to processes occurring within the star's convective zones or interactions with its surrounding environment. Studying these pulsations provides valuable insights into the structure and evolution of massive stars like beetle jars. Moreover, beetle jars' evolutionary stage as a red supergiant adds another layer of complexity to its behavior. As a star nearing the end of its life, Beetle Jars is undergoing significant changes in its internal structure. The fusion processes that sustain its immense energy output are gradually exhausting its hydrogen fuel, leading to the formation of heavier elements like helium and carbon in its core. This phase marks the beginning of the end for Beetle Jars, eventually culminating in a spectacular supernova explosion. The prospect of beetle jars going supernova has garnered considerable attention among astronomers. A supernova event involving a star as massive as beetle jars would not only be a rare astronomical spectacle, but also a crucial opportunity for scientists to study the final stages of stellar evolution up close. Such explosions disperse elements forged within stars throughout the universe, seeding interstellar clouds with the building blocks of future generations of stars and planets. Furthermore, Beetle Jar's recent behavior, including its unusual dimming events, has raised intriguing questions about the mechanisms at play within the star. Astronomers have observed fluctuations in Beetle Jar's brightness that suggest dynamic processes occurring in its outer layers, possibly involving the expulsion of material into its surrounding space. These phenomena provide clues to understanding how stars shed mass as they approach the end of their lives. Technological advancements in observational astronomy have enabled scientists to study beetle jars with unprecedented detail. Instruments like the Hubble Space Telescope and the James Webb Space Telescope have been instrumental in capturing high-resolution images and spectra of beetle jars, revealing intricate details about its surface features and atmospheric dynamics. 
These observations have facilitated groundbreaking research into the physical properties and evolutionary pathways of massive stars. In addition to its scientific significance, beetle jars holds cultural and historical importance. Throughout history, civilizations have looked to the stars for navigation, timekeeping, and mythological inspiration. Beetle jars, with its prominent position in the Orion constellation, has been a celestial beacon for astronomers and storytellers alike. Its variability and eventual fate as a supernova continue to inspire curiosity and awe across cultures. Looking ahead, ongoing studies of beetle jars will shed further light on the processes driving its variability and evolution. As technologies improve and new generations of telescopes come online, astronomers anticipate new discoveries that will deepen our understanding of this enigmatic star and its place in the cosmos. Whether Beetle Jar's next dimming event heralds the onset of its supernova explosion remains uncertain, but the continuous monitoring and analysis by the astronomical community promise to unveil more insights into this cosmic phenomenon. In conclusion, Beetle Jar's stands as a testament to the dynamic nature of stars and the profound impact they have on our understanding of the universe. From its variability in brightness to its eventual fate as a supernova, Beetle Jars continues to intrigue and challenge astronomers, offering a window into the complexities of stellar evolution. As we continue to unravel the mysteries of this extraordinary star, we gain valuable insights into the broader processes shaping galaxies and the cosmic landscape.